Mr. Potato Head knows that one of our school rules is to always be respectful. Part of being respectful is listening when other people are talking. To help him, he uses whole body listening. Can you say that? Now I'm going to teach you how Mr. Potato Head uses his whole body to be a good listener. We know that when we listen, we have to use our ears. Mr. Potato Head uses his ears to listen to the person who is talking. He does not let himself get distracted by other noises around him. Did you know we can also listen with our eyes? Mr. Potato Head listens with his eyes by always looking at the person who's talking. He also listens with his mouth. That sounds silly, but Mr. Potato Head listens with his mouth by not talking or making any other noises. He uses his hands and feet to help him be a good listener too. He keeps them still and quiet. He does not kick or bang on things. He does not play with things. And he does not touch his friends. Mr. Potato Head even listens with his nose. If his nose is sniffly, he does not distract others by getting up for a tissue unless it is a real emergency. If you take Mr. Potato Head's hat off, you can see his head. Do you know what's inside of his head? A brain! His brain is one of the most important parts of his body he uses for listening. When he's listening to others, he is thinking about what they are saying. He is not thinking about things like what he had for lunch or what he's going to do when he gets home from school. Now you know how Mr. Potato Head uses lots of parts of his body for whole body listening. And now you can use whole body listening too, just like Mr. Potato Head.